Hi everyone, it's Benza here. In my previous video I promised I would copy a photograph as accurately as I can and show you the result. The reason I did this, because even though I used photographs as inspiration before, I always allowed myself to diverge from them and I was curious if I could really copy a picture or not. I was looking for a photograph with lots of colors, water and some architecture so that I could practice modeling in Blender. So, at the end I chose this photograph of the Saut de Broad Gorge in Switzerland by photographer Vincent Bureau. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. I really like the color of the water and the leaves, the mossy rocks, the hanging branches and the stone bridge. Actually, I just love the whole picture. Since my aim was to copy the picture, I needed to be able to look at it constantly. I do not have any extra screens, but I have more laptops, so the solution I came up with was this. First, I set up a terrain object and a stream. The stream was created with Nature Manufacturer's River Auto material and all other assets I used for this project were also made by them. I will link the assets in the description. I covered the banks with mossy stones and then with bigger rocks. For the bridge and the road I used placeholders at this early stage. One of the most difficult things were finding the right camera angle. When I need to experiment with camera positions, I usually use Unity's Cinema Machine package. This allows me to insert virtual cameras into the scene. If I find the camera angle I like, I just insert a virtual camera there. The position and angle will be saved and I can move the main camera to look for other angles. I use the capsule as a reference to get the scale right. In the picture, the background trees are closer to the camera than in my scene, so I had to address that. I needed to bend the river, originally I made it almost a straight line, and I adjusted it around 4 times before I got it right. Then I planted the background trees, only to realize that my camera angle is wrong. In the picture, you cannot see the sky, but in my scene, you could. I modified the camera position till I got it right. To get the leaves from the bottom right hand corner, I put a single sapling next to my camera in the air. Originally all trees were green, so I created two new materials, changed their colors to brown and yellow and now I had autumn trees. After that I started to put the vegetation on the rocks. Luckily some of the rocks came with leaves on top, so I used these in the upper left corner as the rocks there had some fallen leaves. I used saplings, ivy, branches and roots. In the meantime, I placed the cube map type reflection probe in the scene to get a bit better reflections on the stream. I also tinkered with the stream material to get a color that is closer to the one in the picture as well as to add some smaller waves to the surface. I also modified the lighting a bit, knowing full well that I will have to return to it at the end. I used Blender to make the bridge. I am not a modeling genius yet, but since the bridge is not close to the camera, I figured it will be fine. Just to keep it simple, I used the same texture on the bridge and the road, I just changed the tiling for the road. For the railings, I used simple cylinders and created a dark grey material. And last but definitely not least, the lighting. I used the HD render pipeline in this project, as it includes fog and post-processing out of the box. I spent roughly 3 hours to get a result that I was somewhat satisfied with. The parameters I was playing with were mainly the angle and strength of the directional light, fog density, saturation and contrast. The other important detail is a small hue shift I added to make the brown leaves in the bottom corner resemble more to the ones in the photo. The photograph has some white fog in the back, which I could not replicate without making the foreground of the scene too foggy, so I just added a density volume to the far side of the scene. When the lighting was acceptable, I adjusted the materials of the road and the railings and made some other small fixes and final touches. And here is the scene. Although I am not fully satisfied with it, it turned out way better than I expected. My takeaways from the project are Finding the camera position is critical and it should be done as soon as possible. Blocking out the scene, or at least not starting with the small details, is generally recommended in all cases, but here it is especially important because we need to get the positions, rotations and scale right from the very beginning. And last but not least, getting the lighting right is even longer than I originally thought, and I had known before that it will not take just a few minutes. 
All in all, I enjoyed this project and will copy other pictures in the future. While I mostly want to focus on geography and vegetation, I will choose pictures that will require me to make some custom models, this way I will be able to improve my modeling skill as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!